momentum equals mass times velocity. Now, guys, what this means, simply put, is that our weight and the speed at which it moves will add momentum to whatever movement we're attempting. As far as fighting strategies are concerned, momentum gives us the ability to move our opponent through distance. This makes mass a major player here. Obviously, the more weight we put behind the punch, the greater power we will generate. Therefore, there are three points that we need to remember where momentum is concerned. Point number one. Again, the more weight we place behind the strike, the greater the momentum. Point number two. Momentum means motion. And point number three. In order to create more momentum, motion should entail creating an environment that maximizes, maximize being the key word, our ability to generate velocity. The key to gaining momentum is our ability to neutralize gravity and make an ally out of inertia. In simpler terms, let's say that there's an attraction between two objects that are working together to accomplish a common goal. However, in the case of power production, this goal is contrary to a desired outcome. Now, this being the case, there needs to be some sort of change in the relationship of these two entities. And this being the case, as with everything else in life, there's going to be resistance to this change. The attraction here we're speaking of is between gravity and mass, our gravity and our weight. The resistance to these two entities in motion is called inertia. We therefore need something that will expedite this desired change in order to allow us to produce a desired outcome. Inner ground force reaction, inner power principle number two.